Welcome back to At Your Leisure. You can tell this is quite a crowd Eddie Hall we got down here. These guys are in for their last swim, unfortunately. <laughs> and Bill here has got the granddaddy prize of them all. That's about as big as they come here in starvation. He's cute. Oh yeah, well, <laughs> I'm not sure cute is exactly how I'd describe him. Not for long. The first thing, most people will take freshwater crawdads and they go, oh, these don't taste so good. That's because you didn't purge them. And so we're gonna, we're gonna find out from A to Z, from Bacon Bill Johnson right now, how you make this happen so they taste Okay, we're purging the crabs right now, so they're fit to eat. And it takes actually a couple times for the process. We empty about half the salt of a 26 ounce uh, container into the water. Eat crawdaddies tonight. It's like Bill Murray lounge act on Saturday Night Live. Crawdads don't particularly taste good raw. So if you're gonna cook them, you gotta start somewhere. Where do we start, Bill? Well, we start with a crawfish boil after we purge them. Mm -hmm. uh, now we're uh, adding uh, the ingredients for the boil. It calls for about a quarter cup of salt, a cup of vinegar. Uh, we can also use either a packet for a crawfish boil, or you can use uh, the shrimp and the crab boil. Two or three tablespoons, because this is the concentrate. Oh yeah. We got the heat on Boy, you smell that as soon as that goes in the water. Wonderful. Okay. Let that simmer a while, and then we will start adding our vegetables. You can actually get a mix that works real well. Add a little garlic to it. Yep. Then you can use whole garlic or... Uh, Put a little garlic. behind your ears. That's right. Bring some of these in. Careful not to splash the hot water. Nice and low. Do you think the pot's big enough, Bill? We're going to be adding uh, some of the sausage as well, too. I didn't really think I was that hungry when we started, but oh, it's starting to grow on me. Anytime you put uh, lemon on fish, things like that, uh, adds with the uh, the flavor. Pick them up and put them in the bucket. Put them in the bucket. Yeah, we That's need them. Yeah, throw them in here. Watch the color. Now we'll have them in here. It's been boiling now. We want to make sure it comes up to a, a good boil. Uh huh. And then about five minutes, when they've turned very orange, very red. You don't want to overcook them because they will go tough on you, like shrimp do. Uh -huh. After it comes back to a boil, how long, Bill? About five minutes. About five minutes. And you're done. Yeah. Wow. Now, what, one of the rules is never check before it's ready, but I gotta just look. Oh yeah, look that is that. just way underway. Did you see that? Oh yeah. Look at that, folks. All right, we will be right back. We're gonna find out how this all tastes. First of our two recipes.